Hey everyone, Dave here. Chromebooks are known for being inexpensive computers that can browse the internet. Now the problem with them is that they don't typically have good computing power and they don't have apps like on your typical Windows or Mac computer that you can download and use on the computer. So there are popular apps that you would typically download on Windows and Mac computers, for example, video editing software, Adobe Premiere. Now when it comes to headsets, the popular business headset brands like Poly and Jabra historically have required you to download an app on your computer in order to manage, update your firmware directly on your computer. That is until now. Poly just released a brand new web app that allows you to fully manage your headsets, webcams, and video devices all directly from an internet web browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And yes, that even means it'll work on your Chromebooks too. This also means that if your company does not allow you to download software due to security reasons on your computer or laptop, that you can now access the web app and fully manage your headsets without having to reach out to your IT security department and ask for their blessing to download software. Now the downside to headsets on Chromebooks previously before this web app is that you wouldn't have access to all of your headset settings and controls. So you wouldn't be able to adjust your active noise cancellation, side tone, ringtone settings, or even update the firmware on your headset so you can maximize your performance on your headset. Now to get access to this web app, it's absolutely free. Just go to webapp.lens.poly.com and you can access this on any computer such as a Windows, Mac, or Chromebook as long as you have a supported web browser, which currently is Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. I did try it on Firefox and it would not load and that's probably also true for Safari. When you launch the web app, it's going to look almost identical to the desktop version of the app. And then it's going to ask you to accept the terms of use of the app. And then you can either log in with your Poly account or continue as a guest. Now, once you're in the app, as long as you have a Poly headset, webcam or video device, you'll click the blue button that says connect device and then there will be a pop up to select your device and approve it to be used on the web app. Poly headset I'm using is the Poly Voyager Surround 80, but you'll notice that the device that I needed to select is the dongle, which is called the BT700, which is the device I needed to approve. Once it's approved and connected, you'll see the headset available on the left side of the app. And when you click it, then you will see the picture of your headset, battery life, and firmware version. Then there are different tabs at the top of the screen that allows you to change different settings. The next one over is the USB adapter, the connected status, as well as the firmware version. And there's also three dots at the bottom right of the screen. If you click that, that'll allow you to put the USB adapter into pairing mode in case you need to repair your headset or connect a different headset to your USB adapter. Then there is the settings tab, which depending upon which model you have, will have a ton of varying options available for you to change and adjust for your headset. We have the newest Poly Voyager Surround 80, which is their top of the line active noise cancellation Bluetooth headphones, which has a ton of features that you can adjust. A few of my favorite settings to adjust on this headset is for one, the equalizer. I have it set to bass as I prefer more bass when I'm listening to music, but you can make it sound flatter if you don't prefer bass. So I like that it's adjustable. Another popular setting adjustment is the side tone control. And what this feature does is you can adjust it from low to high level of side tone, and it plays your own voice back in the speakers a little bit so that you can talk at a more natural volume because both your ears are covered so it could make it so you talk louder than you actually want to. Now on the wireless drop down uh, section, you have three important features that you can adjust. One is your extended wireless range. 
you have your HD voice that you can turn on or off, and you have your streaming music. Each of these features are going to consume more battery life, but I for sure prefer the HD voice and streaming music mode to get better speaker and microphone performance. You can also adjust your active noise cancellation modes. And on this headset, it has a customizable button that you can adjust. And if you get too crazy with all of your headset settings, you can always reset it back to the default settings. The only difference I noticed between the web app and the desktop app is there's an option on the desktop app below reset that says soft phone and allows you to enable or disable your dial tone. And that's because dial tone isn't supported on the web app. Now, if you're using a web-based supported application on Chromebook, such as Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, or Google Meet, there is an HID setting that you can approve. It's called call control. Once your web browser approves your Poly device, then you're gonna gain additional features that makes a more seamless integration between the uh, phone system and your headset. For example, your headset will then light up red when you're active on a call, letting others know around you that you're busy and on a phone call not to be disrupted. You can adjust the volume up or down, mute or unmute your video meetings, and of course, answer or end calls all wirelessly directly from a push of a button on the headset. Now with this new Poly web app, it brings the same functionality that you get on Windows and Mac desktop apps to be able to adjust the settings and firmware of your headsets, but brings it directly to the web browser, which is great for Chromebooks. Not sure which headset is best for you or your team? There are thousands of available headset options and it can get quite confusing. That's what our team here at Headset Advisor does. We'll provide you with a free recommendation. So reach out to one of our advisors, call, email, or live chat with us on our website, headsetadvisor.com. Now, if you'd rather just watch another video to learn more, we did a full in-depth comparison of all the different poly headsets from the smallest earbuds all the way up to their largest over-the-ear headphones. Check out that video right up here. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.